tell us a little bit about today and what are your first impressions of the day? Uh, well, it, it's, it's been really remarkable. Um, I, I filmed uh, the flight in. Uh, I was filming from the window, and uh, it's absolutely fascinating to be here. Um, you know, there's a lot of curiosity in the Arab world, and in particular in the Emirates, uh, for, for what Israel is about. And, uh, you know, I'm just like any other Emirati. I'm, I'm curious and interested. Uh, so it's been, uh, the welcome has been astounding. Um, you know, Prime Minister Netanyahu met us at the, um, uh, at, the, at the plane steps, and, you know, very approachable. Uh, again, you know, not what we're used to through the media. Uh, so that was a fascinating aspect. Um, the actual ceremony of the signing of the agreements was was wonderful. Uh, I think I signed the, the, the best agreement, of course, which was on, you know, visa exemption, which I think really concerns uh, the, the peoples of the two nations. So um, that was a lot of fun. Um, and we've been having meetings. You know, we, we just had lunch with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, which was, uh, which kind of branched out into more of a cultural and, 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 and social kind of analysis of Israeli uh, society. It's just been fascinating. So can you tell us a little bit about that visa agreement? Why is it such a big watershed moment? Well, I mean, you know, we didn't even have uh, travel between the two countries. Uh, visa, visa, um, uh, sort of uh, removing visas is a great requirement for the UAE because our, our population is, is really uh, uh, very curious about other countries. So, um, and if you look at the airlines that we have, um, this is the way in which, you know, we reach out to the, to, to the rest of the world. Uh, we've got fantastic agreements with the United States and with the Schengen states and with the UK, um, even with Russia. We've got, you know, sort of visa-free uh, entry. Um, and just this kind of mobility um, is really important to us. And it also helps, of course, on the business front. Um, you know, the, the, we're kind of a, a logistics and, and trading hub. And the ability to be able to travel in and out of countries is really important for us. So is the main, is the main crux of this agreement, do you think, is really to be able to open up that business so it can flourish to its fullest development? Is that... It's, it's to get out of the way of people, uh, to get out of pe people's way and allow them to actually begin to mix and match with each other. And uh, I know that, you know, this, this, this visa exemption uh, requirement or a visa exemption is fantastic for the business community. Um, and it, just in the few days since we signed the, the, the agreement in Washington, I've had so many meetings with different Israelis in, in the Emirates or Israelis calling me up and saying, look, you know, we're really interested in you know, looking at uh, different kinds of business ventures. So. Uh, and there are a lot of Emiratis who are looking, you know, in, into, into Israel as well. So this is all, it all helps to, to create those people-to-people uh, -people connections. So on the aspect of culture, what are the cultural cooperation aspects that we're going to see very soon? Uh, very soon? I'm not sure. I, I you know, I, I know that there have been agreements between um, sort of universities in artificial intelligence and the Weizmann Institute. Um, I know that there's, um, there's some interesting conversations going on with the Ministry of Culture in, in the Emirates. Um, um, there are uh, singers who have been involved, I think, in doing sort of uh, co-production of songs uh, with Israelis, and there's more of that coming. And uh, can't, I wouldn't be able to tell you much more. I think, you know, we're going to be looking at student uh, um, kind of exchanges. Uh, and I know there are a tremendous number of uh, Emiratis who are fascinated by the, uh, the Hebrew language and would like to come and you know, study at, at, at one or other of the old parts. Israelis who want to go to the Emirates know about Emirati culture, how they should behave, how they should conduct themselves? Well, I think, firstly, uh, Israelis going to the Emirates will find that there is a massive amount of goodwill. Um, it really, uh, you know, it's, it, surprise, it surprises me. I didn't realize that there was so much goodwill, uh, given just the rhetoric that was uh, um, uh, so prominent in, in you know, the Arab papers and Arab media. Um, so uh, take that uh, as, an, as an advantage. A lot of people are waiting uh, to, to meet Israelis. Um, I think we, on the negative side, I think you need to be a little aware of respect, um, uh, respecting boundaries and respecting uh, other people's goodwill. So, um, you know, it's, it's something that I think is particular to the Emirates and particular to the Gulf states. Um, the culture is one that, you know, where respect is the most important kind of uh, factor to take into account. Um, don't be transactional, be 